We're here this morning at Barbary Castle Stables, home of Edward Stone. We're going to have a chat with trainer Alan King and hear his thoughts on the forthcoming season. Get some insight to who his stable stars might be and find out some inside information. So Alan, thank you so much for allowing us to come and visit Barbary Castle. It's just fantastic here. We've got the perfect morning for it, obviously, and your horses are looking really well. Are you looking forward to the, you know, the, the season forthcoming? Yeah, very much. I mean, um, as you say, a stunning morning. I'd probably be a little bit happier if it was raining. But, yeah, uh, of course. I think it's going to take an awful lot of rain to get into these jump tracks yeah. this year. So we'll just take our time and not be in too big a rush to have them ready um, th that early, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll how see. much? Do you think it's going to affect the start of the jump season? Do you think we're going to see a different um, face at the, at the beginning of the jump season? Obviously, because the ground's going to be a lot quicker than it usually would at this time of year. Oh, definitely. I think we've got to be very careful. And even when the rain does start to come, it'll take a good few weeks to get in properly. So I'm certainly going to be fairly cautious early on. We've got a lot of lovely horses to look forward to, obviously. One of those is Edward Stone. We saw him winning the Arkle this year so what can you tell us about him how's he getting on in the early part of his training yeah very good i mean he's he's a little bit of the trainer he's summoned very well this year <laughs> uh, but it's starting to tighten up a bit no real rush with him i mean his starting point would probably be the the schler at cheltenham mm -hmm. in the november meeting um and we'll see how that goes um with a view as to whether we stay two miles or possibly step him up and trip. A lot of stamina in his pedigree, so, you know, I think no reason now that he settles much better. He might get two and a half, but um, we'll start him at two and see. And so Royale, he's getting to the autumn of his career, we might say now. Um, what are his season targets? Will we see a mixed bag over hurdles and fences this year? I think so. I mean, he's in great form. He worked yesterday. Um, I would, the plan is to try and have him ready for Kempton, right. which he won last year hurdles and then um, the elite uh, wing canton and then we'll take a view after that uh, and maybe step him up and trip over fences he does have to go he's a better horse left-handed over fences i know he's been placed he has one round sand and ones but he is a better horse left-handed so we'll just duck and dive with him but you know his rating's still right up there he's i think he was as good as ever last year north lodge very exciting novice for you so where does his season targets lie? Will he stay hurdling? I think he will. He's only I think he's only had the four runs, five runs over hurdles. Um, uh, obviously, he was narrowly beaten at Kelson and run a very good race at Aintree. Um, I just think from an experience point of view, he'd probably benefit from a second season hurdling. Mm -hmm. um, if he were ready and the ground came something like the Silver Trophy, it could maybe be a starting point for him. Two and a half, he'll get a bit farther. Um, but yeah, I think a, a season hurdling and it'd be one to really look forward to when he does see a fence, but that'll be farther down the line. I think he's a grade one winner in the waiting? Well, I don't know about that. I think he's entitled to mean, he ran a grade one at Aintree and ran very well in that, mm -hmm. so we'll see. But look, he's fingers crossed fingers for him. Fingers crossed for him. The Glancing Queen. Want to beat this season in Mare's Chases? Well, she'll run very well in them. Um, seems a strange thing to say when I've trained her for as long, but... I'm not sure what trip she really wants. I, I was always convinced she was two and a half, two five. But if you watch a couple of her races around Cheltenham last year, she didn't get up the hill in the last bit. And we dropped her back to two at the April meeting. And she, she I know it was a lesser race, but she really powered through the through the line that day. So, you know, we, I'm not saying we won't go two and a half, but I probably wouldn't go two and a half around Cheltenham. Yeah. Um, so anywhere between the two and that, but she's, again, summoned extremely well. Um, now looking forward to her. And um, would you ever sort of think about putting her, you know, away from the mare's races? And oh yeah, we ran her at Cheltenham against the boys, you know. Yeah. I don't think she was quite right that day, or she didn't quite get up the hill. Looked sure to be placed between the last two fences and mm -hmm. just weakened the last half furlong. But that was 2-5. But no, I wouldn't be trying to take the boys on. So, Tritonic, a nice five-year-old you've got here. What are his season targets this year? Uh, well, he'll probably have a run on the flat first, so he'd be ready in the next two or three weeks, working very well at the right. moment, had a good summer break. And then I would imagine we're looking at something like the Great Wood and mm -hmm. then back to Ascot, the race he won last year. I, I mean, we made a big mistake with him. We, we won well at Ascot and he seemed to have taken it very well. And we came back in the Christmas hurdle a week later and he, he disappointed and it, 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 it 
really flattened him. It took me a long time to get him back. And he disappointed in a couple of hurdle runs afterwards, but we gave him one run, mile and a half handicap at Newmarket, top weight, and he ran very well to finish second. And then he's since had a holiday. So I think we learned from that that you, you want to give him a bit of time between his races. He probably likes to be very fresh, mm -hmm. but um, hopefully he could still have a little bit of improvement in him being a five-year-old. He certainly looks a little bit stronger. He looks a lovely horse. Oh, he is. He's a gentleman. Yeah. Very versatile to go mm. over, which is yeah. He's a nice. He's a. Codes. He's a very nice person. Oh, great horse to deal with. <laughs> that's lovely to hear. And we look forward to seeing your national hunt team blazing their way <laughs> up towards Cheltenham and Aintree. Well, very kind of you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.